Holy moly, look at that guys. Watch this, single hair jig getting thrown in that pile. There he's coming in at the back end there. Not a big fish, but it's our first fish today. And it's awesome fishing these aggressive fish on these really shallow structures. And this is a good eater right there, good solid eater. But that's what we're starting off with, the Whitey. Buy these single hair jigs on the website, freaking awesome. They are uh, very inexpensive, but check out those, check out those fish right there. Stacked on shallow structures. Great for fall fishing right there, guys. This really is an awesome experience to watch how aggressive these are. And I, I really take my split shot off. I, I make it lightly just flutter around in there. And I'm telling you, now the bite can be really quick. Sometimes they just place it in their mouth and they just run with it. You just kind of got to know that they have it. Um, but you can see that right there. We're only 10 feet away. They're not spooky at all. There it is dropping in. Trying to wake that. There he goes. He woke up. He, yep, here you go. Boom. He did take it. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. <clears throat> Super sensitive hammer 10 here. You can get that on the website. These single hair jigs on fire. Great fish right there. And of course, sniping braid. It's key is having sensitivity. I love this 10 footer, man. Freaking awesome. Just absolutely the best 10 footer on the market. If you put one of these in your hands, you will know what I'm talking about. And they're priced right. I like to tell people that. We ain't here to overprice stuff. All right, so I'm targeting. See this guy that's just laying on this limb right there? That guy right there. That's what we're targeting. 14 feet, so I want to come just right behind him. There it is. You know, not bad. I'm trying to get his attention nice and slow. Might bump it if he's, if I feel he's asleep to the world. He is. He's asleep to the world. So we continue on. And here's this guy. Now we're going to play him. We'll see if he's going to play with us, but he doesn't. So right back at it. Nice little group there. Look at that. Only 10 foot of water. These fish are only about three or four foot down. There we go. And there it was. Dang it, really quick bite. If I have a bad cast, guys, I bring it right back in. I'll jack around with it. I ain't going to waste my time with it. I'm just going to flip it right back out there. Here it comes right there. Now you could expand your screen here, but I'm just so used to... There it is. He's a smaller one, but hey. So we're going to move on. But that's a lot of fun. That's just fun. You could fill up a live well quick of little eaters for sure. Check out that. See those guys? Way up there shallow. There it is. Right in the middle of it. Right on that weed edge. Vertical fishing. Vertical fishing, casting. The key is these shallow structures. And you will load yourself up with tons of fish. I'm telling you guys right now, the um, the fall fishing is fantastic. Bite gets it gets incredibly aggressive, and these shallow structures are a great way to catch just an absolute live well full of fish. Whether you want eaters, big fish, they're all there, and um, I can't say it enough that it's incredibly fun. Um, check out the guide trips if you guys would love to come here in Southern Illinois. Uh, Wren Lake is a lake I live the fish too during this time frame. Um, it's a it's a fantastic fishery and um, love to get you guys out there, but also many of the other lakes in Southern Illinois. So check out hog fishing. Just a real quick uh, plug of hog fishing right here. Incredible nets. Um, match your boat, your style. Check them out at hogfishing.com. And uh, we're putting fish in the boat, no doubt about it today. Um, we just got started. We're bright and early. It's uh, 
75 wa degree water temperature and we're just hitting shallow structures throughout the fall uh, for a big portion of it and uh and we'll, we'll change that up too because again just about anything can occur in the fall these fish are getting active it's an incredible time all the way down to water temperatures get down to low 50s i love it then and so um anyway let's put more fish in the boat have fun and uh yeah these trees are about to turn i can't wait they're turning right now actually really just the beginning of fall check this out this is just after having that conversation found another never fished this piece of structure never ever ever have i ever fished this piece of structure but you can see these fish are just lying around on this on this piece of wood and they are gonna go crazy for my bait which again we're fishing with that uh just that little hair jig i use and there we go That's just how quick it is. We're putting fish in the boat, folks. This has gotten crazy easy. Beautiful fish. Quick hook set, sensitive rods, getting it done. All day long. him boom that's fun vertical jigging now just looking for bigger guys nice fish right there this guy right here looks pretty good but he might be that same big one yeah he is just mm, that's a better fish that's a better fish so vertical fishing casting keeping them shallow on the structure definitely the ticket today for this morning i'm sure we could catch them just about anyway but that's a solid fish right there and just moving along the bank Easy peasy. Just another piece of shallow structure, unbelievable. Look at those guys just sitting there, boy. fish and I wanted to explain to you guys um, what a backer is on reels uh, you don't see it I get asked a lot how many reels can a 125 yard spool fill up well the key is we want to use a backer and that's there's two main reasons one is uh, braid tends to slip if you just put a barrel if you just put it on the reel itself without a backer it just slips around keeps going around in circles or it also acts as a good cheap filler this is a mono uh, Mr. Crappie, very inexpensive braid you can get at Walmart. I use it as a back filler on all my reels and I tie that directly to the braid and then I fill the rest of the reel up. Now the answer is you can get about three or four 200 series reels filled up if you use a quarter full of backer. So all these reels on, on my boat get a quarter full of a filler then a 10 pound braid is put on for the balance. That allows me to get three to four reels per 125 sniping braid put on there. That's what a backer. Look at this. This is gonna be awesome if I get one of these guys. That is 20 foot down, no split shot, taking forever to get down. There might be 2024 by the time it gets there. And
All right. Good fish, good fish. Good solid fish. Look at those guys down. I'm telling you, you can catch them anywhere. Look at that. That's 18 foot down. That's crazy. All right. Good fish there. You guys, I appreciate you watching Three Pound Fishing. Please subscribe, do me a favor. I realize that only about 20% uh, of the people that actually watch the videos are subscribers. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button for me. Please share the video if you would. That really helps out Three Pound Fishing. If you wanna do something, do something and, and, and help me out, share the videos, please subscribe. Let's bump up that number, and I appreciate you. We're going to have a fun time this winter, guys. All year round, we fish. So we're going to be showing you all that good stuff. So have a great one, guys.